in what time will an amount of rupees 2400 become rupees 2646 at 5% per annum compounded annually so here an amount of rupees 2400 has been deposited in a bank in such a way that the bank is paying 5% interest per annum which is being compounded annually. Now at the end of the tenure you want to get back a total amount of rupees 2646. So this amount will include the principal so this is the principal amount so this amount 2646 includes the principal of 2400 plus the interest gained over the period of n years so i is for interest now the interest is being compounded annually so what that means is that at the end of first year the principal P1 is equal to the principal at the beginning of the year which is P plus the interest gained during the first year which is I and so on so for the next year again P2 will be equal to P1 plus the interest for the second year now we want to find out that with 5% per annum compound interest in what time will rupees 2400 become rupees 2646 so now we know that for compound interest the amount at the end of the tenure is equal to P multiplied by 1 plus R by 100 to the power of n now here n is the number of periods at the end of which the interest is going to be compounded so here the interest is being compounded annually so n will be in terms of years and r is the rate of interest per time period at the end of which interest is going to be compounded so the interest is being compounded annually so the rate of interest will be per year rate of interest which is 5% so now let's put the values that we know so a is 2646 so 2646 this is the amount which includes the principal and the interest is equal to p which is 2400 multiplied by 1 plus 5 divided by 100 to the power of n so or 2646 is equal to 2400 0, 0, 1 plus so 5 divided by 100 so we'll put the decimal at two places so 0 0.05 to the power of n or 2646 is equal to 2400 0, 0, multiplied by 1.05 to the power n or let's bring this 2400 0, 0 on the other side so 2646 divided by 2400 0, 0, is equal to 1.05 to the power n so let me pull my calculator here so 2646 divided by 2400 0, 0. so this is equal to 1.1025 so or 1.1025 is equal to 1.05 to the power of n now here we can use the trial and error method 
to find the value of n. So let's first put n as 2 and let's see what we get. So 1.05 square. So this is 1.1025. So which is the same as the left hand side which is 1.1025. So what that means is that the value of n is 2. So or n is equal to 2 years. Now here we use the trial and error method which definitely was a lot quicker and easier to find. However, there is another way in which we can find the value of n which is by using logarithms. So let's see how we can use this. So our equation was 1.1025 is equal to 1.05 to the power n. So we can also say that this is the same as x is equal to a to the power m. Now if this is the equation then log x to the base a is equal to m. So this is one of the formulas uh, in logarithm. So if x is equal to a raised to the power of m then log x to the base a is equal to m. So the way I remember this is I put log in front of x and then this a on the right hand side this goes down here as the base and this m which is here comes down as the normal number instead of being to the power of a. So log x to the base a is equal to m. Now if we try to substitute this in the expression that we got earlier we'll have so first x is 1.1025 a is 1.05 and m is n so log 1.1025 so this is log x x is 1.1025 and to the base a and a is 1.05 so to the base 1.05 is equal to m and m is the same as n. So this is equal to n. Now another formula for logarithms is that if log x to the base a is equal to m then log x to the base b divided by log a to the base b is also equal to m. So in essence log x to the base a is the same as log x to the base b divided by log a to the base b. So x remains as x log x to the base b and this a comes here so log a to the base b. So Note that these two both have the same base which is base b. So with this logic if we try to put that logic in this expression we get log 1.1025 to the base 10 when if there is no base written that means it is to the base 10 which is the standard base divided by log 1.05. To the base 10 is equal to n. So now let's find the value of log 1.1025 and log 1.05. So let me pull my calculator here. There are actually logarithm tables using which you can find these values and you can also use the scientific calculator to find the value of logs. So first is 1.10 to 5 and this log is the standard log which is to the base 10 so log and we get this value so let's note down till say 5 or 6 
decimal points. So the value is 0 0.04 2378 and now we have to find the value of log 1.05 so 1.05 and log so this is the value of log 1.05 to the base 10 so this is 0 0.021189 and this is equal to n. So now let's calculate this. So point zero four two three seven eight divided by point zero two one one eight nine. And this is equal to two. So we got n is equal to 2. So this is the same value that we got here by trial and error method. And we also saw how to use logs to find the same value of n.